He can stay a day, two days without checking up on you. I bet sister, that guy not didn't tell you. You did date yourself. You did date. You not get boyfriend. You not get boyfriend. Don't tell me that ah, sis, then he, he at least two times a week he writes me. Sister, you don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. Hello, blessed. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra, and this is Sandra's Joyful Space. You are welcome once again. So, guys, today I have something very important to tell you guys. Like, if you know that you are trying online dating app, like in 2024, you are planning or you are right now using online dating app, please and please use and follow and abide by these 10 rules I'm about to share with you guys. Yes, these 10 rules are very, very important. Like, it's important that. <laughs> <laughs> and if you follow those rules, trust me, your online dating journey will be easier, smoother, and successful. Yes. So the first rule you should follow, like that one, dear, if you know that there's no other rule you want to follow, this one, please abide by it. Never leave your online dating profile blank. What do I mean by that? I've said this like countless times on my other videos. Always make sure that you fill in everything that needs to be filled in. Your name, your age, your sex, your uh, religion, your height, like all those things, your dislike, your hobbies. What do you think of as a perfect date? You know, what's your happiest moment? Those kind of questions they ask you, fill them. There are reasons why they are there and they are important. Put a very, 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 very breathtaking photo, like clear picture, very, very clear. Now the number two, rule you must follow like this one <laughs> this one there's not even bargain there's nothing like 50 50 i beg this one is all in if you are chatting with a guy online like you guys have exchanged numbers you guys are now talking video call is a must yes video call is a must there's no two ways about it there's nothing like eh, eh he says he's always busy he's not always available he did, eh, 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 eh. If a man is into you, if a man is interested in you, sis, he will never be too busy to video call you, to, you know, write you regularly, check up on you regularly, talk to you regularly, find out how you are doing, and also do video calls with you. That is very, very important. Why is it important? So that you know that you are not chatting with a scammer, you are not chatting with a 4199, <laughs> you are not chatting with a fake person. You are chatting with someone who is real. That has you, for instance, you wake up in the morning, you do a little video call with him. You guys chat together, get ready for work together, and he goes to work. And after work, you guys video call again, you know, chat, just make dinner together, even eat dinner together. That would, you know, strengthen the bond between you both because you both are maybe far apart in different parts of the world. And doing this video calls will kind of strengthen the bond that you both share and the number three rule you must follow this one <laughs> i should have put it at number two but nevertheless let's continue the number three rule you must follow is telephone number is a must there are some ladies who are treating me and say oh uh, sis i'm chatting with this guy we have been talking for a while now but you know what he says he's not on whatsapp he doesn't like whatsapp for him it's better we talk on skype we talk on here we talk on there uh, uh. Every other app that one does not need a phone number for is good for the guy. But any number that has to do with phone number exchange, mm -mm, the guy does not like it. Please, sis, that is something that <laughs> for shine your eye look well, well. Telephone number is a must because this is someone that you want to know better. This is someone that you guys are trying to build something. You will want to call him. You want to check up on him. Even though it's not on WhatsApp, he should give you a number for call. At least you want to call your man and check up on him. So he should give you a number. It's not that anytime you want to get in touch with him, he has to log in first. So anytime he's not online, you guys cannot talk. You guys are not just online lovers. You guys are not just online bodies. You guys are in a relationship. So conversations telephone calls video calls are important so after i'm not saying the first day you chat with a guy you should ask for a telephone number no 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 so the number four rule you must follow when on online dating app please never send nude pictures this one dear <laughs> this as for this one many ladies still ask me 24 sis and he's asking for my nude and since we've been chatting for a while our relationship is you know is getting stronger by the day and he's asking for my news sister 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 don't you know that some of those men they can be so patient 
they will make sure that you trust them you bond with them da, 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 da. then later they will start asking for your news because they know that most ladies when you ask them for news at the beginning they would not oblige so they will try to create the facets that you guys are in a relationship you guys are together and then you believe you are into him and then it's asking for your news and when you refuse that but i'm your boyfriend i'm your man you should send me your picture i miss you oh ho oh, oh, ho for one thing if they deceive you shine your eyes never send your news to any man online because this men, they use it for things that you can't even begin to imagine. Some of them use it on sites that you will not even know your naked pictures are on some sites, some sites that you can't even imagine. Yes. And some of them use it to, you know, satisfy their own pleasure. Please don't just do it. Like, avoid it. Then the number five rule you must follow when on online dating app. Never send money to anyone on online dating app. You are chatting with this guy and he's telling you, oh babe, there is this business that I'm doing. You know, I'm working towards it. I'm just hoping that everything comes out good. Yeah, he should be up, you know. When you just hear a guy online that's talking about business, talking about he's working towards one thing, please let your ears be at alert. Be at alert. Be watching very well because this guy will now play, 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 play. And at the end of the day, he will keep telling you about this business, about this uh, whatever contract, whatever he's doing. And at the end of the day, he will now tell you that, oh, he's stuck with maybe something or he wants to transfer something or he wants to do something and it's not possible and he really did this urgently like he really needs it now, 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 now. You should please help him to transfer also amount of money to... I'm having a I'm tired. Hey, <laughs> God. If I tell you the amount of messages I've read from ladies who would have fall victims to those scammers, ladies, please be watchful. Some of them will even go as far as sending you money at the beginning so that you will trust them because they know that at the end, when they want to play that they are trick on you, they will get much more than they've given you. So shine your eyes. When the guy just start talking about uh, this thing, this thing here. Oh, I'm stuck in the airport. I'm stuck here. I need this. I need that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. if he didn't know you, wouldn't he have find a solution? No, wouldn't he? So in conclusion, ladies, when you also meet a guy in the beginning, don't go asking for money. It also, you know, sends a wrong notion. And also when the guy is asking you for money, please don't do it. If the guy wants to willingly send you money, like at the long run, from his heart, he willingly wants to send you money. That's a different thing. And if you willingly want to send a guy money from your heart, that's a different thing. But whereby he's putting you in a corner, telling you you must, hey, something is going on, da 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 da, da. I need the money now, please, uh, $200, $500, $100, hey, no, 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 if you don't send it, I will lose this business, I will not be able to live here, I'm stranded, oh, please. Just know that <laughs> it is a four one ten ten something, yes and shine your eyes ladies so the next point and the next rule you must follow when on online dating app please and please ladies never send your personal details or sensitive information about you to any guy online for instance he's telling you oh i want to send you something you know i want to send you a gift can you send me your address and some of you will go as far as sending your personal address or even your work address to those guys you don't even know him from anywhere. You are chatting with him under one month, two months, three months. You are sending him your personal details. Some of them even go as far as telling you, I want to send you money. I will need, you know, your passport data page. Just snap it and send to me so that I can get your details and send you the money, please. This is 2024, ladies. Educate yourself about certain things so that when someone is telling you some kind of things that are sounding <laughs> outrageous, you will know. If they want to send you money, there are many ways someone will send you money without needing your passport data page what does he need it for are you guys planning to visit each other is he trying to invite you to his country or what even at that <laughs> we'll come to that but the point is you just met a guy he's trying to get information about you your address your id card your passport data page all those things are sensitive information about you and also when you are chatting with him tell him about yourself be careful how you divorce some certain sensitive information about yourself to him like the name of the company you work certain things the name of the school your children attend those are things that you should keep private or the area you know your children go to school or things like that please 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 keep it private 
as a long run when you guys have got to the stage where you know each other very well you are you know planning and you have met him in person you guys are now you know knowing where the relationship is actually heading it's no longer i just met you you are now in the stage of we are actually taking steps to take the relationship to the next level you know introduction marriage or whatever or coming to see my family yes then you can start divulging information to this guy but at the beginning when you guys are dating knowing each other he's in his country or your country be careful be very careful yes then the next rule you must follow when on online dating app i think there's the seventh rule if i'm not mistaken please ladies make sure that the guy you are chatting with is real what do i mean by that you know i mentioned that video call is a must in my second point yes please when you are doing that video call with this guy shut your eyes some people are using this ai whatever technology to do fake videos you will think you are chatting with a white man but you are chatting with okoro in the next streets <laughs> please the things that are going on online you for shut your eyes where hey <laughs> what my eyes have seen things i have read the way ladies are being deceived day in and day out please ladies open your eyes i've said this thousand times in this video when you want to try online dating app you have to be smart you have to be observant you have to be like a detective you have to all your senses should be at a lot you have to know you have to be don't just be chatting with someone and just be carried away <laughs> yes sir. oh baby you're so cute oh, oh shy here baby oh i beg i beg i beg i beg you can do all that but in the midst of all that let all your senses be at a lot don't be carried away with the handsomeness of the guy with the cuteness of the lady even for guys open your eyes and know who you are chatting with so that nobody will deceive you know if this guy is married does it tells you oh does it tell you oh you can't call me from 9 p.m you know the, 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 i'm someone that goes to bed early this and that oh okay if you the one that goes to bed early we have heard you we can do call when you're not working can't we also call you at nine o'clock sometimes those guys tell them you hear sometimes break the rule in the weekend or sometimes call them in the evening call them 9 p.m 10 p.m let's see what thing go happen i probably said i won't pick the call but his reaction will let you know if he's really hiding something if he's really just sleeping he's just going to tell you oh baby call me last night I didn't that, that, that. oh i was sleeping but when he will call you he's standing like angry irritated like oh why did you call me yesterday i told you i would be uh -uh. no say something they would they act something day and also even if he goes to bed early sometimes once in a while it could break the rule for you uh -uh, are you not his babe it will break it for you uh -huh. so make sure that when you are also doing video call with him this can is environment make sure that this person is moving somebody will just sit at one place and be doing video call every time you call him it's the same shirt the same place the same location or even if it's changes his uh, shirt but it's the same kind of look the same kind of environment the same kind of uh, setting i beg ask him you not get kitchen you know they enter kitchen you know they work out ah now lay your palo share the day so is bomb bomb on the chair ah, let him stand up let him move let him show you you can even say just show me a bit around your house if maybe that one is too far-fetched ah just tell him oh baby can i see your kitchen i bet they find something you will tell him that will make him stand up so that you will know that someone is not deceiving you with all this ai effect and all those you know 110 things and also you will also know whether uh -huh, he's leaving you alone or not when he's doing the video call just be scanning and i know some of them will try to avoid some corners but since if you are smart you will catch something you will catch something uh -huh. so please oh make sure that the guy is real and whatever he says sis don't be forgetting make sure that you remember what he tells you so that the relationship is progressing you will know whether his storyline is consistent or it don't they bend bend don't they change change uh -huh. you will know if he's <laughs> passing one way two ways three ways yeah so ladies make sure the guy is real the next rule you must follow when on online dating app this should be point number eight if i'm not mistaken please and please and please ladies make sure that the energy is mutual you are chatting with a guy online and you are the only one who you know call him in the morning in the afternoon in the evening ah, ah wait till <laughs> are you dating yourself or this one is a relationship i don't understand because if you're in a relationship with someone it should also take you know the step to call you to check up on you but if you are the only one doing everything then there's something wrong maybe if you don't call him for one day he will not call you if you don't write him first he will not write you if you don't send him a, a message he will not he will not send you anything if you don't ah, 
No, are you begging him to love you? Sis, pay attention to the energy this man is giving you. And if he's only writing good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you guys don't discuss anything useful. Sister, these are the diary men. I've done a video about them on TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, go on my TikTok. You will see the video I created talking about the diary men. This man will greet you good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How is your day? How are you doing? That is all. And then the next day they continue. They never ask you things about yourself. Even if you guys will discuss something, it should just be very on the surface level, very small, and then that is it. So please, ladies, shine your eye. The energy should be neutral. You guys, you, let, you have to see that it's into you. He should be always calling you. It should be when he's free, as far as he's not busy, he's free. He should be calling you. He should be checking up on you, video calling you. Let me tell you one secret you should know. Any white guy who is into you and doesn't call you regularly, doesn't do video call with you, doesn't contact you regularly, since that guy is not into you, let's not even come and sugarcoat, change. That guy is not into you. Like, he can stay a day, two days without checking up on you. I bet, sister, that guy not into you. You did date yourself. You did date. You not get boyfriend. You not get boyfriend. Don't tell me that, ah, sis, that he, he, at least two times a week, he writes me. Sister, you don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. If really, 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 this guy is into you, and you really have a boyfriend, ah, sis, it's not me that will tell you. <laughs> you yourself will testify that, ah, this guy is crazy about me. I've always said it. When me and my husband, you know, met newly, we can be on the phone for hours. And this is the same story I've heard from ladies who have met their men online and they are in different countries. And during the chatting stage, it's the same story. They are always online. They are always chatting. Apart from the time where the guy is at work or the lady is busy, that's okay. That's understandable. But as far as they are both free, they are on the phone. They are talking. They are chatting. They are, please, don't even let any guy come and deceive you. Please don't let them deceive you. The next rule you should follow when on online dating app. I don't know if I have, I don't know which number we are in. I think we're number nine or so. Let's just continue anyway. So the next rule is never you hide important information about yourself. Especially if you are maybe a single mom, a single dad. It should even be on your bio. When, when they ask you, do you have kids on your bio? Just click yes. You know how many. Write it. So that before even a guy will write, you already know that you have kids and it's okay with it. And it's writing you. And if paraventure, he didn't see it on your profile. When you guys are chatting, getting to know each other. How are you? What do you do? Where are you from? What is your name? What do you do for a living? Da, 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 da. What are your expectations? Uh, that beginning stage. Do you have kids? Do you want kids? That is the stage you will just say, it. I'm a single mom of one of two or three. I'm a single dad of one of two or three. I'm this and that and that. Just state it. Don't don't wait till you guys have you know known each other for three months, five months. You are even plan. When we even wait till they are even planning wedding. Ah ah, sister, fear God, fear God now. Ah ah, how do you like? How do you feel comfortable just hiding such a vital information about yourself and feel comfortable deceiving this guy? Just let him know it's not a crime to be a single mom, to be a single dad. If he loves you, it will not matter. Or if it, it, at that point, it might not even be love issue but if it's into you or if for him that is not a, a you know a deal breaker he will continue chatting with you and get to know you so sis all this uh let me hide it uh, i beg there is no point for that just state it and if you have health conditions that can be you know transferable or is communicable you have conditions like hiv AIDS, things like that please between the first month of the chat let this guy know because the point is I know some of you is like, oh, but he will run away. It's better for him to walk away than for you to wait. You to you invest your emotions, everything on, on the relationship. And when he finds out at the end, maybe after years, he will still leave you. And that will even be more hurtful. So why don't you just say it at the beginning? I know it can be tough. Those kind of information are very sensitive and delicate to share with someone. But it's better you share it. Why? If this guy know at the beginning and then he's still okay with it, then that is okay. You, you have, you know, tackle that is now on him. But the point whereby you hide it, it's like, for me personally, I love to be given the right to make my choice. For instance, tell me something, then let me decide if I want to continue regardless of what you have shared with me. But when you hide it, and then you are telling me after six, seven, eight, ten months, it means that you decided for me. And at the point whereby I've invested all my energy, love, heart, money, sweat, 
tears into this relationship you are now telling me so how do you think it will be easy for me to back off or step out or whatever decision i want to make at that point how easy would it be for me so at that point you've kind of deceived me you've used me and then i'm now in a bind to think okay now what do i do i don't know if you guys are getting me so for you to deceive someone for that long that's very painful it's very hurtful it's better you say it up front it might not be the first day you had it with him so that at least he gets to know you a bit it might not be the first day the second day the first week at least but after the first month when it comes to health issues please share it and when it comes to children please from the first chats like it should be on your bio that one <laughs> from the beginning beginning and any other important information the person should know about you that you know could be a deal breaker sis please within the first month or just immediately after the first month share it because sometimes at least it gives the person a chance to know you a bit before they can make a decision if maybe they will overlook that you know condition and say okay this girl is someone that she has some qualities that i like regardless of this condition i will still stick with her that's why i'm saying give him like one month there please not hide them three four five six months no sis no don't do that no brother no dwarf hey. the last point that i'll be sharing in this video which will be my i think my number 10 point now please if you are an online dating app and you are trying to you know find someone sisters brothers everyone please never share how much you earn online i earn this amount of money some people i even see it on their bio they write how much they earn like after introduction give you the option to put how much you earn like your range of your salary or your income on the bio i beg don't do it don't use it because some men or women are just going to look at those things to see the kind of person they should write. So anything to do with how much you earn. In fact, some certain positions like maybe you have a very high position or you have a very delicate job or sensitive job. Please keep it aside. I'm not saying you are hiding it. Get to know the person. And even if you are even chatting with someone and you get to know the person, what does the person want to do with your salary? Fine, the person can know your job description, like what you do for a living. But you must not tell the person you earn this amount of money, that amount of money. It's not needed. I've seen ladies who tell me they've shared to guys how much they earn, or those guys go ahead to ask them how much they earn, and then they share it. Please never share how much you earn or anything that has to do with your salary to anyone. Don't even try it. When it comes to your income, it's your private information. No one has the right to come and ask you how much you earn, this and that. Please, that's your private information. If they want to know that, then <laughs> you are not ready to share. If that's a deal breaker for them, they should use the door. But please, ladies, don't go around sharing sensitive information like how much you earn, especially on your bio. And when you are chatting with a guy and within the first one, two, three, four months, he's asking you how much you earn. I beg. It, even, it shouldn't even be a question. It shouldn't even be a question. Maybe it depends on the situation where you want to divorce. I don't know. Maybe you guys are trying to plan your wedding and you guys wanted to know how much each person. I don't know. But at the beginning stage, it's not something you should share to any guy, to any lady. It's not their business. They don't need to know that. So ladies, I will just tell you, be very careful on online dating app. There are different character of men. There are different character of people on those apps. So be very careful. Be vigilant. Be observant. And let all your senses be at alert, as I always say. So, guys, these are some of the top rules you should follow when using online dating apps. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any question, please drop in the comment section and let me know if you really enjoyed this video and how this video has been of a help to you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support, your love. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell beside it. God bless you and see you all in the next one. Bye.